Well, hi there, everybody. Uh, it's Doug, and this is supposed to be my one month update, but unfortunately, because of all the nice weather and everything, it's closer to my two month update. So I've actually been out uh, from surgery about seven weeks now. So it's a little bit late, but better late than never, right? Anyhow, uh, to date, I have lost 56 and a half pounds since uh, I started this whole thing in January and uh, doing really good. Um, tolerating food for the most part really well. Having a little problem with uh, some of the meats like beef and hamburger. In fact, a couple nights ago I had my first taste of hamburger since surgery. I had uh, I ate a, about a half of a cheeseburger patty and it seemed to go real well and about a half hour or so later I was near death, at least that's what I felt like. Uh, probably came the closest to tossing my cookies since I had surgery. It just wasn't sitting well at all. So I either need to eat slower in that regard or chew more or something or maybe just wait a little longer before I try hamburger because it just didn't sit well at all. And I've heard from other people that it uh, doesn't go well either. So I'll just keep keep trying and see what happens. But otherwise, food's going real well and uh, water intake's going well too. So I'm, I'm really happy about that. Um, a couple weekends ago, I photographed a wedding and uh, the bride had said to me make, you know, at the reception, make sure that you get some food and stuff so I waited for everybody to go through the buffet line before I went through and uh, kind of sat back and watched people pile food on their plate you know just heap heaped on and of course we've all been there seen that before and it's funny they had they had a table off to the side where a cook was carving prime rib and, and uh, nobody seemed to notice that till they got to the very end of the buffet line and of course their plates were already heaped full of food and you know there's lots of whining like oh I got no place to put my prime rib now but they managed anyhow and uh, so I went through and I had like two cubes of uh, cantaloupe three baby carrots and then I got a slice of prime rib and uh, I ate about a quarter of the, the piece of prime rib and then the carrots and the, the melon and uh, I was full. But uh, again, the, the prime rib didn't sit real well. In fact, the last piece I was chewing, I, I must have chewed it for like what seemed like 10 minutes before I realized that it's kind of stupid because it's not going anywhere. I'm not going to swallow this. I'm full. So I ended up going to the bathroom and just spitting it out in the, the trash can. But uh, I still have to learn, even though I know I have to take a lot smaller amounts, it's still um, smaller than what I think. So it's a learning process, definitely. Um, on another note, I've been doing a lot of work in the yard um, some gardening and stuff and it's it's just in, by the way just in case you people around the country or around the world in fact think that Minnesota is this frozen tundra well the last couple days it's been um, in the low 90s um, today it's really nice but yesterday it was really humid so um, it's just gorgeous out so in a perfect world I think this is a good place to spend your summer and then um, go someplace warm in the winter. I'm not a big fan of winter even though I've lived here all my life. So, um, But anyhow, I've been doing a lot of work in the yard and uh, I noticed when I took the garden hose out this year um, and started using it, it looked like it developed an aneurysm or something in fact uh, in a couple places. And I've got a shot of it right here that I'll insert either looked like an aneurysm or it's swallowed a small rodent or something so evidently uh, some problems with the hose inside so I decided to get uh, 
a new section of hose and I I got one of these uh, coiled hoses that you may have seen and you know the idea is really good that you know you stretch it out and use it and then it coils back into a smaller shape and you know less hose laying all around and that's that's what it does but the trouble is is it's a lot smaller diameter than regular garden hose so um, it doesn't let as much water through like if you're if I'm trying to sprinkle the yard I mean it just it doesn't it doesn't work very well at all so I'm stuck with two coils of this coiled garden hose that I'm not going to use so I don't know went out went out and bought a regular section of hose instead and uh, also had to get a new lawn sprinkler because my dog ate the old one and of course she doesn't just chew any part of the lawn sprinkler she chewed the the coupling that threads onto the hose and uh, it was down to nothing and it was unusable so I had to get a new sprinkler which leads me to um, another point I still have the box right here that it came in and uh, right here there's a warning and I'll, I'll get a close-up of that too it's a warning that uh, the sprinklers for outdoor use only and of course that really shocked me that I couldn't set the sprinkler up say in my living room and water all my house plants um, totally shocked that I couldn't do that I mean some of these warnings really they, you, you wonder were people actually using these in in their house you know there's got to be on there for a reason something must have happened so there, there's got to be some really stupid people out there but anyhow the new sprinkler works good and everybody's happy plants are happy and uh, my uh, my uh, container upside down tomatoes are doing really well um, I think I mentioned in another video that I kind of made my own containers out of five gallon buckets that I had instead of paying twenty dollars for these things that they're selling and uh, they're doing really well they're uh, the vines are really strong and they're getting some nice flowers on which will of course become tomatoes so I'm, I'm really looking forward to seeing how they how they do and I planted mostly heirloom tomatoes in these and for those of you that don't know heirloom tomatoes are they're really pretty ugly on the outside and they're misshapen and I mean that's the way original tomatoes were before they created all these hybrids and stuff but anyhow they're they're ugly on the outside but they're really tasty on the inside and uh, so I wanted to try my hand at that and then I got some cherry tomatoes growing in the regular garden so um, should be all set pretty soon so I'll uh, put a shot of that in the, in the video too so you can see what they look like but that's about it and I'm gonna try to do uh, a better job on being punctual on my videos it's just that with the nice weather like I said it's been so easy to put off doing this with all the other stuff going on outside and but I'll, I'll strive to do like a weekly or uh, maybe bi-weekly update and uh, keep you posted on my progress I should, um, I should be at my goal, which is about 170, 180 by November, December of this year. So right now I'm right on track. It doesn't seem like it's going all that fast, but really it's, it's steady and I'm losing inches and really couldn't be happier. So uh, if you have any questions, uh, give me a holler and uh, we'll talk to you soon. See ya.